So today we are going to continue our point to point uh, thingamabobber and the jigger. So last time we covered the eyes, which as you can see does not look half bad. Um, it definitely could be better, like I don't know. Um, why you are misbehaving. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> Today we're going to go over bone rigging. So remember that this is a bone layer. Yeah. Suddenly this is actually going to come in handy. And as far as the mouth, we'll uh, cover that in a separate lesson. Whew. Excuse me. Okay, so make sure you select your pinky layer. And then we're going to come over here to this tool, the add bone. Now the first thing we're going to do is rub pinky's ass. And now that you've gotten all of that out of your system, we're going to create a tiny, tiny bone facing this way. Now, what this does is it creates a central anchor point, and we'll explain that in a minute. And then you'll create the larger bone. So let's just start with this leg, I guess. So you'll want to start somewhere halfway down the hindquarters. Make it like that, and then do that. Now, come over here to your Select Bone tool, and we're going to select that bone. Now, the reason you're doing that is because these bones need a parent bone. You are selecting the parent bone of which the next bones will be a part of. And I can easily explain that later. Um, but just trust me that you will need to select that. And then just do the same thing over here. finish the legs, congratulations. So, select the parent bone for the body. Let's go ahead and make that neck. Create a head. And then you can go ahead and create an ear bone. So, <coughs> if we go into uh, First, select your bone strength tool, and you're going to click on every bone and move them all the way to the left. Now, you can choose bone strength completely differently, but for sake of simplicity and movement, I set my bone strength to zero, and this will come in especially handy when we're doing smart bones. Um, so, make sure your pinky layer is selected, and then you press Z which is manipulate bones. And then, as you see, when you move the bones around, um, nothing happens. The bones move, but nothing is happening. And as you can see, Pinky's face just goes cattywampus, and that is not something you want to see every day. Okay, so... So, what we're going to do is first select the, uh, ninja bone. We're going to come over here, oh, are we, we should be able to.
long pose here. Mm. It's been so weird. So what you're going to want to do is select every layer, and it'll be outlined for you. And then you're going to come over here to this tool, which is Bind Layer, and then select the bone that is in that region. Just do the same. You can keep going up the ranks. And the main, if you get to that, will actually be binded to the head. The tail will be binded to the body. The body will be binded to the body. From the bottom to the bottom. And singing like a motherfucker, wishing that he wasn't quite there. to manipulate our bones, you'll notice that that didn't work, but everything else has. Now, obviously bone constraints are a little weird right now, and I'll talk about those in a minute. Pinky, what are you doing? Pinky, stop! Okay, so, yeah, let's, uh... Make sure that the eyes are binded to that. The eyelids will be binded to that. Okay, so now let's try this. Hey, much better. So as you can see, we've got the head banging pinky, who is, you know, defying gravity on her own way. Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Okay, so... We've got that seven. Okay, so that's how you rig a bone character, but... What we're gonna do is we're gonna add constraints. This basically means the area that the bone can move, because, as you can tell, you don't want Pinkie Pie to have a leg way up here. And until you get proficient in flash animation, or whatever animation, and you can make her do whatever, this is not what I recommend. Please. Okay. Pinky looks like she's about to uh, go and do human cannonball. Or an equals to cannonball. So what we're going to do, select that. And now over here where this is, let's just go ahead and name these bones. So just go ahead and name this back, right, bottom. And we're just going to do the same thing. Back, right. And keep doing this for everything. Facebook notification, so don't bother trying to check yours. So, after you've named everything, um, that will come in handy in a later lesson. Mm. Oh, excuse me. 
Oh, animating is so boring. I'm falling asleep. Pinky, where are you going? Pinky, Pinky, Pinky! Okay, okay, okay. I will gaze into your soul. Yep, and apparently I'm having fun. Um, so, you're going to go to your select bone tool. You're going to select a bone, and then you're going to hit this bone constraints button. Click angle constraints, and as you can see, we already have a little outline of where it can go. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore, singing-wise. Okay, so you'll just have to go around and uh, fiddle with the uh, restraints to see what works for you. So let's just try negative 30. Okay. Mm so then you can see that when we edit the bones, it doesn't move more than that and it doesn't go past that. And if you have different constraints you'd like your bones to have, then feel free. And the cool thing about this is you can actually just go ahead and uh, keep the bar. Yes, you can keep the bar. Ever since my mom gave me a Netflix account, I have been sleep deprived. We can keep it at negative 70. But let's go ahead and make this uh, 40. And see how that looks. And also, I totally forgot to do something. Go to bone constraints, and you can make this one the same as the other, which is negative 20 and 70. That one can negative 70 and 40, so we can make that negative 70 and 40 as well. Now, this one's going to be a little different. The front are always different. So, we can go ahead and make the uh, front angle 90 because it works that way. And let's go ahead and make this make a 40, see how that looks. And we can probably do a negative 50. And then this is going to be extremely different. So we're going to make this make a 20. Actually, make that negative 50. You'll see in a minute. And then that's going to be 20. Right, that's where I was. So let me go ahead and close this and see. Because Pony's legs don't bend this way, they bend this way. So obviously we need to make the constraints a little. So yeah, let's just go negative 70. So let's see if that looks a little more natural. There you go. Because if this is up and you want that to go natural. So a negative 70 and 20 should just about cover it. That one's negative 50 and And this one's the neck. So obviously Pinky can bend a lot, but I don't think negative 70 is good. 
Oh, that's the other one. Okay. Let's go with 40. And then she can bend all the way down at a right angle, so 90 is pretty good. So let's go ahead and, uh, as you can see, she can look up, she can look down, she can look all the way up. She's a hard banging pony, hard, hard banging pony, hard banging pony, hard, hard banging pony. Um, so as you can see, the neck is not too far back, not too far forward. So we're going to go ahead and select our head bone, go with head constraints. And obviously you don't want uh, the head moving too far along the neck. So let's, uh, negative 50 and probably about 50. Let's, uh, let's see how that looks. Other than Pinky looking like the slight spawn of Satan, that looks somewhat natural movement for her. Her visible range of flexibility. It's Pinkie Pie, so you can break the rules with her a little bit. So then go to your ear. We'll just go ahead and select the uh, bone constraints to negative 90. Okay. No, that's... Uh, going to be negative 30 and then 90. And then you'll see what this does is it moves you the ear forward but if you wanted to make her sad she could always have that down but it's not going to go too far forward and what have I created? <laughs> said something very nasty while I was gone. Um, so, yeah, just go ahead and file save. That's basically bone rigging. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to go over smart bones, which are a little more complicated and a little more time-consuming. Um, but smart bones are the way that you can uh, smooth this out. So, for example, you can make the leg bend without this ugly thing showing up. Um, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be too bad. But over here, especially, you can make this ugly lump, because even though it's pinky, that's just fucking ugly. Okay. So, that's about gonna do it for this lesson. You've learned to bone rig, remember to bind each layer, and then you should have something that can do this. Obviously, it's not smooth and connected right now, but, you know, you have a semi-working pony. Pinky, 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 pinky! Okay, and I'll see you next time.